Hi guys, welcome back to the Maybelline Makeup Loft. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my contouring tips and tricks. So I did come prepared, I brought my coffee so we can get pumped for today. I'm putting lipstick all over this cup. Okay, so before we get started, don't forget to thumbs up the video, comment down below, subscribe and hit the bell button so you guys are notified every time we upload new videos. And let's just get started. Okay, so I've obviously done all my makeup except for contouring. So I have put on blush and a little bit of highlighter as well. But I thought we would do the contouring step together because I know contouring can be scary for a lot of people. Like when I first started doing it, I wasn't that great at it. It definitely takes practice and time. So just keep practicing and practicing. So the product I'm going to use today is the Master Contour Kit. And this one is in the color medium to deep. I spoke about this in one of my recent Maybelline Makeup Loft videos. This is one of my favorite products. I love this product so much. So the brush I'm going to use today is something like this. You can use something a little bit smaller, but I like something like this because it does diffuse the product. And when I do take the product, I like to take it kind of on the corner of the brush so I can kind of like get in there like that. Hopefully that makes sense. But there is a number of brushes you guys can use. You just have to use what you're comfortable with. So obviously I've been doing makeup for quite a while, so I kind of just know what to do. But when I did start contouring, what I would do is kind of feel my face. So if you feel here, you will be able to feel like your cheekbone up here. And where you want to contour is usually just kind of under the cheekbone and you can usually feel that hollow space. So I can definitely feel the hollow space right here. So that is a place where you can contour if you want to create a little bit more dimension and depth to the face. I just want you guys to keep in mind that everyone's bone structure is different. So if you are someone who has lower cheekbones and you feel like contouring where the hollow part is does nothing for you, you can contour higher. I really hope I'm making sense, but basically contour is all an illusion. So I'm going to create the illusion that I've got more crisp kind of cheekbones and sometimes you need to break the rules a little bit and usually go over maybe your cheekbone if your cheekbones are quite low anyway let's just get in with applying the product just so i'm not like chatting your ear off so i'm going to tap the brush in on the corner so you can tap off the excess if you're worried about the pigmentation so i also find contouring a little bit easier when my base is powdered because i feel like it does go on smoother as well so i'm going to start just kind of where my ear is and i'm going to just kind of Blend it where the hollow is. Just make sure you're not brushing too hard onto the face because sometimes that can lift up the foundation. So you can just kind of like pat little circle motions will usually do the trick. I like to blend it up a little bit higher. So where my temples are, I like to kind of blend it up there. You never want to drag down, otherwise it's just going to bring your face down. So I'm just going to keep going until I'm happy with the pigmentation. You guys can stop whenever you want. If you just want a really light contour, you can do that. I feel like I definitely have enough. I probably put too much. So if you feel like you've put too much, just grab your powder brush and you can just kind of like Go over it with like your face powder. This will kind of diffuse those lines and make it a bit smoother. I sometimes like to bring it up on to kind of the forehead and temple area. I don't like to use too much because I don't have like a large forehead or anything. So I don't want to make my forehead look even smaller. If you're someone who has a larger forehead and you do want to make it look smaller, go ahead and contour your forehead. I just like to do a little bit so it kind of just all ties in together. So I'm going to go over to this side and do it. I know some people like to hold up like a piece of paper or like a business card or whatever just here and then contour because it creates um, quite a clean line. You can do that as well, but I'm going to show you guys a trick on what you can do to clean this up afterwards if you feel like you've made a little bit of a mess. You also don't want to bring the contour like too far in, like you don't want it to like join to your mouth. Usually just here is just enough but personal preference, whatever you guys feel comfortable with, you can do. I'm also going to do a little bit of nose contouring. I'm not going to do anything um, too crazy. I'm going to take a really small kind of rounded, fluffy-ish brush. I'm going to start underneath my nose just to lift the tip up. Like I said, this is going to work differently for everyone. I've got quite a round nose. I don't have like a nice little 
narrow skinny nose so I like to give the illusion that my nose is skinnier so I'm just going down the sides so I'm just pulling in those lines so it pulls my nose in next product I'm going to use is the Maybelline master fix translucent powder so what I'm going to do is just pour the product into the cap so this step you can use a sponge or you can use like a flat top brush I'm going to use a sponge I'm going to dip it in to the translucent powder like that and I'm going to pat right underneath my contour just to clean it up so this method is called baking you will look a bit crazy but that's fine and I like to bring this completely like to the mouth for no reason you don't have to and then the same for the nose I'm going to bring that up on the sides so it's really up to you how long you want to leave this on your face for. I'm not going to leave it on very long. I feel like it does the job pretty quickly. So I am going to brush it off now. I feel like if you leave it too long, it can leave a white cast. So I'm just going to wipe that off. You can see it's left like a nice clean line underneath. This just helps to bring it all together. Okay guys, so that is it for my contouring tips and tricks. I hope this video was really helpful. Let me know what other videos you guys want to see down below. Don't forget to thumbs up the video like I said before. Subscribe, hit the bell button, and I'll see you guys really soon in my next video. Bye!